Thank you, Eric. More than 2,000 new jobs are on the way to southern New England. Today, the Commerce Corporation approved a series of tax incentives, luring two new companies from out of state and getting two others to expand their existing footprints in Rhode Island. We first told you about this on Eyewitness News at noon. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now with the new details. The companies are very different, ranging from food processing to maritime navigation, but what they all have in common is that they've committed to grow the state's economy. An announcement by Governor Gina Raimondo brings new opportunities for Rhode Islanders. We also said we had to create jobs at every level of the economy. That's what these represent. The jobs range from meatpacking to tech and engineering jobs. Some companies that are here, like EB and Adventures, expanding and then other companies coming to us. Those include a maritime manufacturer and food processing company. Plus an additional 1,000 construction jobs because two of these deals come with big capital investments. The governor's office says the plan is estimated to bring in $800 million in private development. Over 15 years, Raimondo adds the four projects will add $118 million in new net revenue to the state. Raimondo says her announcement Monday is only the beginning. If we continue on the path we're on, which is to say investing in job training programs, making it easier and cheaper to do business, uh, I think they're going to stay and grow here. To date, 27 companies have relocated to Rhode Island or expanded their current operations using the Qualified Jobs Tax Credit Program. In the control room, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.